Tom Hanks is the reason I started making films. I love this man and almost all of the films he did. Actually, I've never met anyone who disliked Tom Hanks or his movies. To me, he is one of the greatest actors that have come out of American cinema. But what makes him such a great actor? Growing up, I didn't have much of an exposure to other cultures, especially the western culture as I grew up in a very small town in South India. It was completely a homogeneous population with similar values and conditionings. Couple of Hollywood movies that I watched was Godzilla and Anaconda dubbed in a regional language. Almost 10 years ago, when I moved to a big city, I accidentally stumbled upon a DVD of a movie about which I knew nothing. It was called Forrest Gump. It was different from all the other hyper-realistic Hollywood movies to which I was accustomed. Immediately after that, I watched The Terminal and The Saving Private Ryan, one after the other. To me, one of the glaring factors that made all of those movies such a mesmerizing watch was Tom Hanks. That was the first time I consciously noticed how a performance could elevate a movie to a whole new level. And that's when the bug of filmmaking caught me and it stayed for good. To analyze Tom Hanks, it is important to know that his screen career as a lead began with Bosom Buddies, an 80s American sitcom that centered on the misadventures of two single guys dressed as women in order to keep living in the only apartment they could afford. Starting with that, for almost a decade, Hanks did characters with comedic undertones with movies like Splash, The Man with One Red Shoe, The Infamous Big, Punchline, The Money Pit, and many others. The point is, He's really good at comedy, and he's an effective slapstick comedian. Selling a joke through your performance and body language is a very hard thing to do, and by the time he starred in Big, that came naturally to him. And that's one of the reasons why when he shifted to dramatic roles, not just his face, but his hands and muscles also reacted to the situation because of his slapstick roots. Tom Hanks is great at making us relate to a character that he's playing through certain subtleties that we encounter in everyday life. Great script and effective dialogue is every bit necessary to that relatability, but what elevates it to another level is his minor pause or a nose scratch or a head nod, things that we all do in day-to-day -day life but unconsciously. I've never seen him go to extreme measures like some method actors do to give his characters credibility. Instead, he resorts to actually understanding the character and its quirks and react in a way like any rational person in that situation would react. Another reason of this instant relatability is that he's extremely likable as a person. Be it an appearance in a late night talk show or a radio show or an award ceremony, he seems honest with very little ego and sometimes even self-depreciating without seeming to be faking it. People who have met him in person, people in the industry, the press and fans alike unanimously agree that he is one of the most genuine people with a lot of humility. That genuineness is of incredible value, especially in today's society because of all the lies and deceit that are told in front of our faces by politicians, celebrities and the rise of fake news through social media. So his genuine personality is a rare commodity in a society like ours and earns an instant likability. These bits of off-screen information are important because people who watch TV and interviews in YouTube are the ones who also go to watch the movies. And the moment they see Tom Hanks on screen, his character earns a likability that doesn't need to be earned by the script. And he uses it excellently by choosing the right scripts, by mostly playing an everyman, an underdog, or a respectable American hero. Top it with a realistic performance by a person who truly understands and lives the character that he's playing, you get one of the finest actors that's living today. Well all said, I have only one qualm with Tom Hanks. For all his excellence in acting, he has yet to play a villain. I'm not talking about a maniac like the Joker but a passive aggressive villain like Hannibal Lecter in The Silence of the Lambs or the masterful Jun Kunimura in The Wailing. These kinds of characters would suit Tom Hanks exceptionally well as it uses his instant likability against his own audience and it would be phenomenal to watch. Tom Hanks is my inspiration. 
and I really enjoyed doing this episode. I would love to know what your favorite Tom Hanks character is. Leave that in the comments below. I've also included a playlist where you can find all my other videos to watch. If you like this video and want to see more videos like this, like and hit the subscribe button below. Thank you so much and see you soon.